Hello, this is Brad on Santini One here to do another unboxing video for a new um, Tar Heel Ants uh, order that I received today. Um, once again, forgive me for my appearance. As I stated before, my work hours are the opposite of the norm. So when normal sh uh, shipping times or you know, mailing times for people receive packages, I'm usually asleep. So, but like my previous two unboxing videos, I have live animals in here, so I, if it wasn't for that, I would put the package aside, you know, shower, get dressed, you know, be presentable, you know, maybe trim up my beard a little bit, so, uh, but there's live animals, so let's get them out. So again, this is an order from Tar Heel Ants. Should be in this package is a, a custom ordered um, Tar Heel Ants um, All in Fallen Fortress. Thank you. With some extra features added that I paid extra for. With a uh, relatively still smaller size colony of should put it up in my monitor uh, it's a pogo species I'll put the um, actual name in the uh, description uh, it's now when I originally did the order I did the Barbados that's what I'm getting the pogo nimerix or pogo something Barbados which is native uh, species of harvester ants here in Arizona uh, basically I believe in uh, the southwest region of the United States and I believe in Mexico too um, as some of you may know harvester ants are the ants that um, they feed mainly off of seeds um, and yeah, I believe all of them but they have a very powerful sting <laughs> So, but that's, uh, it should be a queen and 30 plus workers. When I spoke to Mac, he said he sent one of his best colonies, you know. Mac tends to do that when you, when you form a good relationship and do business, you know. So he'll, he'll go out of your way for you. So I did order some extra nest mates. These are always very handy. And this time, ah, there's a big brain on Brad. I actually brought my garbage bag. Well, these popcorn things away. The most annoying thing about packaging, but never will complain. That's my paperwork for the ants, the certificates, and all that. Some of you may not know, but to be able to ship ants out of state and all that, um, I believe you need proper permits from the Food and Drug Administration, which I found a little weird that it wouldn't go through the uh, wild, uh, whatever the federal wildlife agencies call them, brain farting at the moment. Okay, let me put this bag down. Oof. This is going to be a little longer video, folks, because I really want you to see the unboxing, so bear with me here. Yes, I know, I could tilt it over and pour it out, but, you know, be patient. Some of them on the floor. Let me see if I can pull them out. The plot where is here now without making a big mess. Okay. As some of you may have seen in other unboxing videos, Mac. If other people at Tar Hill Ants leave his wife assist them, 
Not sure if he has other workers right now, but whatever the case, or he does the packing job, does uh, a <laughs> quite a credible job. So, now a little story behind the shipment. Um, there is a coal packing here, but it is no, not really anymore. I mean, it's not cold anymore. So basically what happened was, is because of the hurricane that went through the uh, southeast region of the United States, America's having some issues with shipping, understandable. Um, so he sent this U USPS. Now, what Mac, I think, didn't realize, and what I didn't realize was yesterday was a holiday, a federal holiday, Columbus Day. Um, I know some people like to call it another day. Sorry, I'm trying to call it Columbus Day. Pay me 40 if you like. <laughs> I'm well aware of the things that Columbus did. It's just my opinion. Um, but anyway, uh, I think he didn't realize it. I didn't realize it. I mean, so it took an extra day basically to get to me. This was supposed to be a two-day shipping. Ended up being a three-day. Could have been a four-day. Um, but luckily not. I didn't want to cut myself. The knife I'm using, in case anyone's wondering, is a, it's called a beard. B Y R D. Uh, it's actually like a. It's basically a, like a cheap spider co. Um, like their budget line. Right, so these should be the ants. I need to figure out a better way to do these videos. I know, it's a mess behind me. I'm in a studio apartment, typical bachelor pad, but everything behind me is organized and clean, actually. I don't have enough storage space. do this for you, viewers. to have live ants. It's difficult to see in the lighting right now. Well, the order said 30 to 40 workers. And it definitely looks the case. You see some brood. Or I should say I think I see some, that's too hard to tell. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the uh, Pocos, um, species of uh, um, ants, they make a mess. That's why, even though I typically like formicariums that have the elbow on top and the nest below, you know, like a natural thing, I got the fallen torches because I've read and I've been told that because the glass is up and on the side for them, you know, uh, they don't muck up the glass quite as much, but I'd like to be able to see the queen. Looks like there's some eggs in there, but she, but Max sent, um, the test that we sent, I can't remember what, what he calls them, but it has the partially covered part. So I, um, yeah, like, oh, there's some eggs, they're pulling it back in the covered part, so. Let me set this aside. I'll move this stuff out of the way and zoom in a moment, but let's finish the packing with everything else, so. Gently put that down. Let me just get this out of the way. I don't know why, but I've been saving these. <laughs> All right. 
Now, I don't know how Mac sends out, because Mac offers a target audience, he offers like colonies of like upwards over 100 workers. I don't know if 100 workers would fit in a single test tube. So, I'll have to ask him one day if he like, like just sends out multiple test tubes and one will have the queen and the other will just have workers. I don't know. But let me put this down here. Let us dig. I'm going to put my knife over here so I'll cut myself by accident. Let's see if there's anything else. All right, what do I got here? Yeah. Oh, the seeds. Yeah. I ordered, um, with this order, I, um, when you order a colony, um, an ant colony, um, in, the, in the menus for when you're looking at the colonies, whether, whether I believe whether they come with a formicarium package or, or just by themselves, there's an option to get uh, food. In this case, I got the, uh, the seeds. There could be more of them, but as you watch these videos, these ants, you're like, oh, look at that giant pile of seeds. Really, it's looking like this big. You know? That's why when I got the mini hearse, I'm like, oh, these are a lot smaller than I expected. <laughs> yeah, everything looks bigger on film, I guess. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm not, I'm not overweight. It's just you know, camera makes adds, you know, hundred pounds. I don't think there ought to be anything else in my order. I'm just trying to think. Most of my order was. Let me see. I don't think it's going to be in here. This is usually just the paperwork for the permits. Oh, I guess. The agency is Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, A APHIS. No, it's United States Department of Culture. This is weird. Permit to move live plant pests, noxious weeds, and soil. Okay. Yeah, it's on my order, but it's all right. Pretty sure the seeds and the, the nestmate was pretty much the only thing extra besides the actual colony and the. Um, in the formicarium, so let us. Oh my god, where did all this weight come from? Oh, it must be a wide angle lens or something. Anyway, don't get overweight, people. It sucks. Again, most of this, if you watch some older videos, I always had a stomach, but not this bad. But that's what happens when unfortunately you injure your back. It's not a good excuse, I admit, but you know. There is some truth to it. I'm going to cut into this, but you know, like I wish you guys could see it better. I apologize. That Unfortunately, that, that camera doesn't really get a better angle without me. There you go. Doing this, might as well talk about some of the extra options. So this is a Fallen Fortress. Um, some of the added features I, I did order with it were uh, what they call the MQ box for the Outworld. Um, I believe Mac also calls it the high quality acrylic, or whatever. It uses magnets to keep the lid down. Um, uh, Mac tells me it's more scratch. It's a uh, has a higher uh, amount of scratch resistance than the, than the normal material he uses for the Outworlds. Um, be prepared for your order to take longer because with supply chain demand, all that, these, these, I thought Matt cuts these himself, but the way he worded his message to me is he might get these pre-cut, so it takes a while to get to them. So these orders are going to take, I mean, these orders are custom, I mean, unless you buy his, uh, items that are already uh, for sale that are ready to ship on his on his website tarheelants.com. Um, they're all made by like pretty much by hand, so the orders take a while to begin with. But by doing this, uh, the order took a little longer. So I try not to try not to harass um, Mac too much with the orders. He's very busy. You know, but I harass him a little bit. Still a customer, right? 
I've gotten pretty friendly with, with him since I started working with him. He's a good guy. Very, very passionate about the hobby. Um, I'd like him to take a vacation, but at the same time, not if it's going to affect, you know, my orders, right? Uh, take a vacation when I'm having the end order back. Uh, this is what, what he calls a dark play. It's basically a plastic uh, see-through, but it's the, that dark red. You've probably seen in my other videos, my other formatariums. Really neat. Um, they really work. Um, I've heard, like much with the end hobby, you know, opinions are like, you know, buttholes, everyone's got them. But um, some people say it doesn't do anything, but I've noticed a difference. When I have these on, my ants don't seem to think there's light in their nest, so... Definitely worth the extra couple bucks, in my opinion. Some ants are more shy than others. Um, overall, just you know, I want my 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 colonies to grow and grow at a you know good decent rate. So I feel that if I can give them a little bit of privacy to let the queen you know chill more, Her Majesty kind of chill and lay those eggs, then I will do that. But I don't think it's completely necessary. Now, oh, some of the other options I got in this. In the Outworld, for the uh, decor, I got what they call the Canyon. Uh, so just, you know, this is not normal. You'd have to, you know, pay extra for it. And again, because it's done by Mac, it probably will, it might make the order longer. I imagine it would. Mac, by the way, at Tyler Lance does <laughs> some really, if you look at some of the other videos um, on YouTube or go online, he does some crazy uh, outworld decorations. Uh, some of them are pretty, pretty cool. And others, and other people have done their own that are pretty damn awesome too. All right. All right, so far so good. Looks like Mac used the what I asked him to do, the, the golden brown sand and the inside of the nest, that's what I wanted. Oh, and this is also gonna have museum glass on top of the uh, the nest of the uh, formicarium. I find a few extra, well, for the smaller formicariums, a few extra dollars. I mean, it's like, I think it's like 10 bucks or maybe as low as five, I don't know, depending on the size of the glass, but. Basically, museum quality glass is, if you're a aquarium keeper, it is basically what they call Starfire glass. It, it just, it's just a better quality glass, uh, it's, you know, more clear, um, you don't get as many distort, you know, when you're looking at it, what you're looking inside is more accurate, I guess you could say. Um, for those of you in the aquarium hobby, you will definitely know what I'm talking about. That's why a lot of large aquariums are usually acrylic, because, um, and, you know, glass, glass usually has that green tint to it, and it kind of like, you know, warps the colors that you're looking at. So a lot of people get acrylic. Probably acrylic, it scratches. And um, so most real high-end aquarium enthusiasts, Starfire is, you know, that's the stuff to go with, you know. But it is super expensive. Especially when you get into larger aquariums that need to be thick. We're talking big versus acrylic. They can bend and make it, you know, the size they want it to. Right. Trying to be careful, I don't want to lose these magnets. Like my first video, the magnet came whoop, flying off. Now, Mac purposely does that. He does not use the strongest adhesive for the magnets because there are a lot of scenarios where you may want to take the magnets off. And that makes complete sense to me because I've seen some other videos where people are doing maintenance on their on their former carriers where they actually did that. So, alrighty, let's take a look. Condensation inside, which is a little odd, but not too odd. Remember, they had that ice pack and the ants, and they were right on the top or around here. So, I'm gonna you know clean up with a cloth, dry it up. So now I noticed what Mac does. I don't know if it's random or just the way. Sorry, itch. Um, the 
the, the nest come out, but sometimes he'll put the nest made hole uh, here, sometimes he'll put it here. I've seen it at different spots. I've also seen where the where the water tower sometimes is on the other side. I don't know why or the rhyme or reason behind it, but it doesn't matter. Me personally, I actually prefer it this way, so, you know, I didn't ask him because, you know, I don't care that much. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm going to show you, give me a moment here. Get rid of the table and get a little closer. Roll my large self over. So, let me show you the formicarium. So as you can see, this is what they call the canyon. I know it's, I got to clean up the inside. It's got, they said, a little compensation. I'll go in with a cloth, dry it up. But man, it looks so cool. It really does. What I like about the option for the canyon on the Fallen Fortress is that it, it's almost level. Not quite, but it's a little off, but it's kind of cool. Like almost like the answer in the, like a side of a hill. So I don't know if you can see really well. There's a, a lot of reflection off it. I'm gonna do other video. I'm gonna do another video, obviously, pretty soon when when I move the ants in, so you'll be able to see the canyon better than I'm sure. But and again, it's the MQ uh, Outwall box. Let me take the tape off. And for those of you who may not, you know, the other box kind of like clamps in. Um, it's rare. And this is done by magnets, so. Bottom line is, it's not only is it, it, it definitely is more scratch resistant because I've seen people with some of the older formicariums, um, by Tarot Ants and other brands too. That, I mean, as you're cleaning it and the ants are putting garbage into the garbage, you can scratch it up. You know, plus they, you know, if you feel live insects, sometimes they'll put them, you know, on the sides. But the idea is just the maggots are strong, though. But, and then. It's got the vent at the top. Now, um, I didn't get the, I ha, uh, the uh, there's another option to get another, um, where this hole has like a plastic piece, you can take it off, where it just has the hole where it opens up. I didn't see the need for that because I got the MQ box. I don't, I think it's kind of redundant to have both, but to each their own, especially in a smaller one. If it was one of those larger ones, like an XL, um, I believe you call, what do they call them, the Pioneers? Okay, maybe that makes more sense, but. Now, Mac my made a boo boo. I did ask Mac to do the brown sand, the golden brown on the Outworld as well. So, I'm gonna have to break his chops about that just a little bit. <laughs> Look, folks, these are custom orders, okay? It's not an excuse because as a customer, you should always get what you order, right? That's fair. But I will promise you that I, I, I'm confident in saying this. If there's an issue with your order and it's, it, the severity is high enough or you're really that stickler, Mac will take care of you, okay? That's the bottom line. Um, I wholeheartedly believe that. Speak to others that have dealt with uh, Mac and Target Alliance before. I am confident they'll say the same. Um, with that being said, even though it's not the gold in the sand, it looks pretty damn cool. And again, this is not their permanent. I will, I will say this, if I order one of, and I plan to, order one of Max huge uh, Pioneer XLs and one of the big formicariums for like the, 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 the forever home, I guess you can call it for my ant colonies, I will be, you know, nitpicking. But at, at the same time, there'll be more communication um, since it's all be really custom made, you know, picture examples, like things like that. It'll be a much bigger process. You know, this is like, this is what I want, and he builds it, so. And trust me, Mac is going to, he's going to, either he's going to feel bad, which, Mac, if you're watching this, dude, it ain't a big deal. Um, it still looks awesome. That's the bottom line. Um, or he'll, he'll be cranky that I even mentioned it. <laughs> we talk so much that 
it's it, you know if there's a little boo boo here and there I <laughs> because we talk so much um, lately uh, that you know <laughs> he might have heard one thing and mis mis misconstrue you know but but why am I mentioning it all because this is an unboxing video and the whole point is to be critical and you know I'm not sponsored or like that so I want to give a real you know real experience Let's see just kind of checking out the glass yeah, it's a little light down yeah that looks good it almost actually looks cooler with the 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 uh, sand on the outworld kind of the same because the base sand that he uses the sculpt this is that is that whitish like uh, what is it I don't want to say tan, but like off-white, you know, sand. So, and it matches on the top, and then the golden sand here. So it actually makes it look actually pretty cool. I'm actually thinking I like it more now that I'm looking at it than this. Than this was the uh, the uh, the golden brown sand that I that I had requested um, because it would have the it would have made it look different. Is that, is that making sense to anyone? We are missing something. Now, if it is missing, I'm sure Mac will send it in the next order. Um, but I have extras anyway, so it doesn't matter. And we are missing something. Uh, now, oh, hold on. What is going on here? Oh, I had a warning on my monitor. I still got to check through all this box. I don't want to do it on camera. It might be laying in there somewhere, so... But things I, it looks like I might be missing are um, the basic stuff that's that usually comes when you buy a formicarium. Um, the syringe water, I don't see it. Again, dig in the box. Don't I don't get it. I don't really care. If I really want one, I'll have Mac put it in the next order or have him send it, but I have extras. Uh, the another thing that might be missing is the uh, black rubber cork that will go in this hole here. I have four of them, or three of them, so I don't use them on my other elbows, no big deal. And also, typically, he gives you a, a little plastic cork that would go in where the nest may would go in if you choose not to use it. Um, again, I'm going to say it third time or fourth, could still be in the box. I just don't want to make this video. This video is almost getting on a half, a half hour here. I don't want it to go much further, so. All right, so here are the ants put my arm up like this you can see uh, it's not gonna zoom in kind of come on camera get away from me and focus on the ants <laughs> if I cover up like that there you go right, I'm sorry about the twitching so well that is it everyone Based on my previous videos, if you all watch, you know, I'm sure I'll be doing another update video pretty soon, maybe even later today uh, or early tomorrow after I get some sleep. Um, uh, for the setup, um, and then when I move the ants. All right, again, everyone, Rabbits 1981. Again, this is an unboxing video uh, from TarHeelAnts.com. Uh, the owner is Mac awesome guy great product um, and this was the Pogo Marinex or uh, Pogo uh, Barbados species of ants all right again Brad MSIT1 thanks for everyone's patience and listening to blabber and I uh, hope you all have a, a great day and be safe out there and enjoy all right